everybody, welcome to the Under Four. I am Steven Schramm. With me, as always, is Brett Strelo. We cover college basketball here at the Fayetteville Observer, and this is your weekly look at, at the really important issues facing ACC hoops. Now, Brett, if there's one thing I know about you that I like, the things that I like, yeah, it, I love a good pin. I like Lay's potato chips. I like a good impromptu trip to Rome Beach. I mean, that's that's me. <laughs> Well, I, I also was going to say, you know, you really like a good slam dunk. You're, you're a big, you know, dunk fan as far as I know, right? Yeah, I mean, I like them. It's all right. You know, fundamental layup off the glass. That's good. I like a good dunk. And, you know, I acknowledge there's been a lot of good ones yeah. in the ACC okay. this year. Um, some involving our ACC schools in North Carolina. Indeed. So I think we're going to rank the top six involving those big four schools, whether they're the ones that threw it down or whether they're the ones that got victimized on it. So I think that's what we Let's do it. Why don't you get us started? All right. Right off the bat. Let's go number six here. Wake Forest, Arno Adalamoto got a nice pass from Cody Miller McIntyre. Drove baseline on BC's Odo there. Threw it down. Nice emphatic play for the freshman. It was one of the highlight plays of Wake Forest season so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess they're not a big uh, TV team, so they, they get what they can. Um, anyway, this is, uh, this is this is I guess what we figured was the best one from North Carolina. This was P.J. Harrison against Georgia Tech. He got a nice. Uh, lead pass there from Dexter Strickland and just threw it up right over uh, Daniel Miller. And I mean, I know that they weren't using the small lineup at this point, but that's the kind of uh, fast-paced basketball that I'm sure uh, everyone uh, over in Chapel Hill likes to see these days. This one hurts my heart. I'm a Daniel Miller guy. Oh, a great no. shot blocker. Um, number four, we'll go with two more big guys here. This was in Cameron earlier this season. We've got Alex Lynn got the ball on the baseline. Quick move to go right around Mason Plumley. The reverse dunk shocked the Cameron crazies and you know, kind of brought back some memories of Jerry Stackhouse dunking on Eric Meek. A little different, but still, you know, quite a statement dunk by Lynn there. Yeah, I was, I was there for that game. He just faced him up and just, <laughs> ooh, it was nasty. Um, speaking of nasty, this one, uh, Tar Heels again play a role in this one, only on the bad side. This was in, in late in this, or I guess sort of late in the second half of the blowout loss at Miami. Uh, Shane Larkin on a fast break throws it off the backboard. Kenny Kaji uh, grabs it and dunks it home. There's a little bit of showboating there. That, that's sort of... I think that one put Miami up 26. Um, I guess we're, we're going to knock them down just a touch because there's no defense, so the degree of difficulty wasn't that uh, that strong. But that was a that was a pretty nasty dunk. Definitely one of the worst we've seen this year. If we're going on degree of difficulty, though, Miami was on the wrong end of this one. This was Rodney Purvis um, in the PNC Arena. I think C.J. Leslie missed you know mid-range shot from the right wing. Purvis was all the way on the other sideline, always staying out of bounds. Races in, comes in one-handed, followed dunk. Um, some might argue whether it was a dunk or not because he didn't touch the rim, but just for as far away as he was outside the charge circle, you know, it was definitely an impressive feat. Whether he touched the rim or not, that was nasty. That's yeah, crazy. <laughs> Speaking of nasty, we've, we've got Alex Lynn and, and Mason Plumley. He's, he's over here, but this was sort of act one of a two-act play because Plumley gets him back. Uh, later in the game, Quinn Cook drives the basket and misses a layup badly, but uh, Plumley comes flying in and dunks it uh, behind his head, two hands, just... Absolutely disgusting. Uh, you know, Coach K after the game said that it reminded him of what he and his uh, friends used to do back in the neighborhood of uh, Northwest Chicago. They'd find like an eight foot goal and just uh, uh, victimize it. But anyway, that's uh, what we've decided is our best dunk of the year uh, thus far. So that's all the time we have for this week. So until next time, you can uh, read our stuff on the pages of the Fayetteville Observer or come find our blog at FayetteObserver.com. You can also come check us out on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Stephen Schramm with two N's, M's rather. He's at Brett Strilo with one T. So until next time, if you get the chance, throw it down. Just lay it in. Just throw it down really hard. Fundamental, off the square, lay it in.